How I am prophesying as a prophet of God. That is called to communicate a message. I have got a message for Zimbabwe. The Lord is saying to Zimbabwe, I am not happy with the statue of Mbuyane Handa that was erected in Harare. And the Lord is saying, the same way people celebrated when that caved image of idolatry was being put. It's the same way people and Zimbabweans shall celebrate when they shall remove it. That thing is not going to last long. It will not be permanent. And the Lord then showed me a vision when Zimbabweans were removing that statue. It has come three times. And when I looked at them, when they removed it, I thought they were going to go to a museum to put it. But to my surprise, they went and smashed it into pieces. And they threw it into a river as they were repenting in the presence of God. So the same celebrations that you saw, when the people, yeah, 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 yeah and celebrating the Mbuyane and the statue, is the same way you shall see Zimbabweans celebrating when it is being removed. Then the Lord said to me that Zimbabwe, from the day they celebrated the putting of that idol in the midst of the city, I want you as my prophet to go boldly and tell them the truth, that I will judge Zimbabwe. And I am going to judge all the people also that participated until that idol is removed because there are implications to what was done and consequences and I'm going to bring a drought to Zimbabwe. I will judge also, says the Lord God, the pastors and prophets who are standing there authenticating that wrong thing and supporting it. I will put them to shame. And the Lord said, I am judging Zimbabwe with the seven verses and all the things that are there are aligned to putting our consequences that comes when people put a sacred, a, an, an image that is made by human hands and they worship that thing. And they pay some rituals towards that thing. Because God was saying, you can't worship that which you have made with your hands. You can't sacrifice and bow down to that which you have made to your hands, with your hands. So I was given Hosea 13 verse 2. Can we put it on the screen? Hosea 13 verse 2 to 4. And also I will so please give me the full verse. It says, Now they sin more and more. They sin more and more. And they have made for themselves molded images, idols of their silver, according to their skill. All of it is work of craftsmen. They shall say, let's let the men who sacrifice kiss the calves. Go to verse 3. Therefore, they shall be like the morning cloud and like the early dew that passes away. So God is saying, I am going to cut their lives short. They are going to have premature death, some of them through accidents. Like chaff blown away from the threshing floor, like smoke from a chimney. Verse 4. Yet I am the Lord your God. Ever since the land of Egypt. And you shall know no God but me. And there is no other savior for Zimbabwe except me. And the Lord was saying I am the one that made Zimbabwe to gain victory in 1980, not Mbuyanehand. 
Tell them that it's me. It's not that image. They must acknowledge my power. If they don't, I am going to give them diseases which shall not be cured. And I will put them to shame because of these caved images and idols. And the Lord gave me Isaiah chapter 42 verse 17. Write it down and read it. And all which says, they shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed. Those who trust in caved images. Those who say to a molded image, you are our God. Who helped us? I will put them into great shame, says the Lord. I was also given Second Kings chapter 17 verse 38. To 39. You read it as well. You shall not worship any other gods. Do not forget my name. Don't worship that which you have made with your hands. Psalms 97, verse 7. Is verse number 4. And Jeremiah 51, verse 47, is verse number 5. All these are judgments that are going to be coming to Zimbabwe. And there is shame, shame, a lot of shame. Let all be put to shame who save caved images, who boast of idols. Worship God, all you people of Zimbabwe. Deuteronomy 7, 25 to 26. And Micah chapter 5, verse 10. Micah chapter 5. Micah chapter 5. Now, it says, Deuteronomy 7, 25. I will just read that one. You shall burn the caved image of their gods with fire. This is what Zimbabwe shall do. You are, that thing shall be removed. And I don't see it very far from now. And the people who gave instructions to put that thing shall also give instructions for it to be removed. Including traditional healers and witch doctors, they shall also speak to the same people that what you did, so what is causing this, go and remove that thing. God shall enter the hearts of the traditional leaders in the hearts of the traditional healers in Zimbabwe, and they shall give instruction which I'm giving today. Because isn't it they listen to those people more than the prophets? So the Lord is saying they, their own traditional healers shall tell them again something different from what they were told. And they will remove, because God's spirit shall enter those traditional healers. So today when I'm speaking, it looks like a joke. And some will mock me, some will criticize Chisa. But I am not speaking out of my own mind. I'm speaking the mind of God and what God showed me. So these are the seven verses. We, all the things in these seven verses, the consequences, the implications that are here of worshiping caved idols, caved images that you have made with your hands, are going to manifest. Those cases are going to manifest. And God was saying there will be painful stagnation in Zimbabwe's economy. I will resist the progress and the plans of the nation of Zimbabwe and its government. And there will be serious decline in the economy and I will shatter their economic progress and there will be loss of confidence in their local currents there will be collapse of the local currents and the U.S. dollar inflation and the premature death, collapse of economy and lack of cash liquidity, death and many accidents on most of the people that were involved in the erection of that idol. Thus says the Lord God to Zimbabwe in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. So let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for our nation. Can we stand up as Zimbabweans?
We want to repent on behalf of what was done in Harare. We want to repent. 